Samuel Leeds has launched his own bank and as a mortgage broker, I must admit when I first saw this, I was a little bit skeptical. But in this video, we're going to delve into exactly what Samuel has done, whether it's good or bad for the industry. And of course, most importantly, for you property investors. Let's get into it. But before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, because I know a lot of you watching haven't, please do use this opportunity to hit the subscribe button. And of course, give this video a little thumbs up. It really does help me out and makes me feel a hell of a lot better. There's a ton of videos now available on the channel already covering all sorts of different property strategies and how you can finance them. So subscribing to this channel is very, very much well worth it. Let's get back to the video. So yes, today the news broke that Samuel Leeds, the property guru, has launched his own bank. He announced this on his Instagram and YouTube channel. And what I wanted to do was to quickly jump on camera to discuss actually what this is, because from the outside looking in, straight away, you'd be thinking this is a massive positive thing. And there are definitely some positives, but there are a few things that I just want to explain as a mortgage broker that might just shed a little bit of light on this new venture that Samuel has embarked on. So the main thing I really want to delve into on this video is actually what the difference between a bank, a lender, and an investor is, because that's one of the most important things that we need to understand when we look at this new Samuel Leeds Finance Bank. So first, let's talk about what a bank actually is. And you might be thinking, Sam, I'm not stupid. I know what a bank is. It's where I put my savings and where I get a mortgage. Well, to be perfectly honest, you're not far wrong. But the main thing here is to call yourself a bank, you actually need to have a banking license. It's not the most easy thing to obtain. There have been a few sort of bridging lenders in the past that have gone up the ranks, shall we say, to get a banking license. And in fact, some that have actually gone the opposite direction and have been bridging lenders, have got a banking license and actually decided it wasn't for them. They've gone back to being a bridging lender. But in order to, to to call yourself a bank, you need a banking license. Now, Samuel Leeds has said that he has created his own bank. That is actually incorrect. He hasn't created a bank. There is nothing on Companies House that says Samuel Leeds Finance with a banking license or anything like that, unfortunately. So it isn't actually a bank. So let's move on to the second things. Is he a bridging lender? Well, actually, He's not a bridging lender either. To be a bridging lender, you actually have to be registered with the PRA, the Prudential Regulatory Authority, to allow you to lend money in an official capacity. Now, Samuel Leeds hasn't got this. This isn't a bad thing, guys. Don't get too scared. If you are a student of Samuel Leeds and you're thinking of borrowing money from Samuel Leeds Finance, then just because he isn't registered as a bridging lender is not the be all and end all. It's not the worst thing in the world. But he is actually, in theory, not a bridging lender either. Now, one of the things he said in the post that he launched on Instagram was that he was fed up with bridging lenders, you know, not doing what they said they're going to do, being a bit slow, all that kind of stuff. Now, I've actually spoken to Samuel today. Um, I We had a message back and forth on Instagram where we shared frustrations in this. As a broker, we deal with bridging lenders all the time and we know that there are bridging lenders and there are bridging lenders. And we like to work with the latter, the ones that really do service our customers and our clients really, really well. We get things done really, really quickly, offer really good terms, and the service is second to none. There are really bad bridging lenders out there as well, guys. So always make sure you speak to a broker when you are thinking of taking out any type of short-term finance when it comes to property investing. Now, the last of the terms that we discussed is an investor. Now, this is what Samuel Leeds is right now. He is lending his own money, 11 million pounds worth of it that he's saved up on his own and fair bloody play to him. He has amassed this amount of money and he is lending it out to his students. He's said to me exclusively at the moment, this money is going to be available to students of Samuel Leeds. He runs obviously his master classes and all that sort of stuff. So this these funds that he is making available are as a private private investor. I'm not sure whether he is going to take a legal charge over the property. I would assume that he will. He will probably have to have his own solicitors that are involved in this. You probably will do too, although you may share. But the terms that he is offering is on an investor basis. It's not going to be as a bridging lender and it's not going to be as a bank. What this does mean is the lending that he is doing is actually unregulated at the moment. So what I would always recommend is definitely if you are a student of Samuel Leeds at the moment, feel free to approach him to fund your property projects. He is looking at going to 80% loan to value, which is above the standard, which is 75%. I'm not sure how he's going to arrange the terms, whether he's going to roll the interest up on top of that 80%, whether he's going to deduct that interest or retain it like a traditional bridge 
bridging loan from that amount and offer you a net amount or whether he is going to ask you to pay a monthly amount he, any of those are possible but what I would definitely recommend doing is approaching Samuel asking him for terms on your property project and then getting in touch with a broker like myself and the team at Grand Union Finance to just check those terms over to see whether they are going to be the best terms for you and your property project. There are some really awesome criteria points that Samuel has actually put on his post about uh, the fact that he is gonna be lending to first-time investors, you know, those that perhaps need to borrow that little bit more, basically essentially those that need the help a little bit more than others. Those that really do fit the description of Samuel's students. So basically, this product is really there for you guys. Obviously, as things progress, I'm happy to share more information that I have with you guys. I'm sure Samuel will not mind me sharing this with you. In fact, I really hope to catch up with him in a bit more of a, an official capacity at some point in the future to discuss this product. I don't believe there's anything wrong with having more lenders in the market. Would be better if they, they were regulated, of course, because they have somebody that uh, is actually overseeing the transactions and things like that. But there are private investors all over the country. Many of my clients use private investors. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. Just make sure that your solicitor is checking over the terms and making sure that you are protected. Always speak to a broker to make sure that you double check the terms that you're getting are the best for you and make sure that you're doing your due diligence and speaking to a broker like my team at Grand Union Finance to help you with your exit as well, particularly if that exit is refinanced. So hopefully this video has been useful, guys. I've cobbled it together a little bit quicker than I normally would do because I wanted to get this out as quickly as I can. Don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe to the channel. As I mentioned earlier on, there are over 200 videos now available for you to enjoy. And if you do need any help with your finance at all, make sure that you hit the link in the description below to get in touch with my team at Grand Union Finance who can help you with your mortgages, your bridging finance, your development finance, or your commercial mortgages. Any type of property finance that you need, we are there to service you. So hopefully this has been useful, guys. Please do leave a comment below with your thoughts on this. Do you think it's a good idea that Samuel Leeds has launched his bank, as he calls it, or in private investment in, in reality? I'd love to hear from you. I will reply to every single comment. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ra for now.